Hello everyone in this video, let us take a look at the configurations and administration of a portfolio. So in the previous video, we uh, spent some time talking about uh, the introduction of a portfolio, what portfolio can do for you and who can use portfolio. And we spend a lot of time looking at the tool itself. So in this video, we are going to discuss uh, some of the configurations that you can do with your portfolio plan. Like uh, you can uh, do changes to your scheduling options. You can change the issue sources. You have the option, of course, to add uh, custom fields in your uh, portfolio plan. You can also change the permissions of your plan. And we will also take a look at how to enable scenarios. At the same time, there is also an option to change the planning interface. So right now we are using the new improved interface, but in case you want to use the old live plan, then you can also do that by going to the planning interface options. There are also some portfolio administration options that you should know, like how to change the portfolio permissions that are applicable on all the plans, how you can change the hierarchy configurations of your portfolio, which is uh, very important if you want to do more than uh, three levels. Maybe you want to use initiatives or maybe your own uh, issue type. So you can always uh, change the hierarchy of uh, the portfolio that is of course applicable for uh, all the plans. And you also have the option to uh, define the issue links or link types in your portfolio dependencies. So by default, you have the option to use the block type of issue link, but you can use your own one if you want. Let us talk about uh, how you can uh, uh, change the portfolio plan configurations. So when you're working on your portfolio plan, you can go to the uh, plan configure option. And uh, the moment you do this, uh, you will be taken to the configurations that are applicable to your specific plan. So if you look here on the left hand side, you have something like uh, uh, scheduling. So under the scheduling option, you have the option to change the estimation. Let us say in case you don't want to use story points, maybe you want to use number of days or number of hours. So you can do that uh, uh, from this uh, section here. You also have the option to define the start date and end date. Maybe for some reason you have, let us say, some other date that you want to use in your plan. So you can actually do that because this will be useful when you are working on the roadmap. And uh, uh, there is also some configurations like use print dates when issues don't have start and end dates. So the, the plan, the roadmap that you're working on, it will rely on uh, the dates that are configured here, which is of course uh, start date and end date. But if the dates are not there, you have the option to select your sprint dates. So this is always a good because you, at least you will have something in the roadmap. Then you also have the option to, uh, to basically define how you are going to configure your dependencies. So you have two options here. One is uh, sequential and the other one is concurrent. So when you uh, select sequential, which is the default option, you have the option to define dependencies where dependent issues must be scheduled one after the other. So this is something that you should be aware of because if you select it as concurrent, the dependent issues can be scheduled at the same time. So I think in most cases where you want uh, dependencies to be there in your plan, where you are waiting for something, I think the sequential option is uh, more suitable. Uh, so there are some other things that you can configure in the portfolio plan, like uh, you can define the issue source, which you did initially when you configured the board uh, as your issue source, but you can always change it. You can define more issue sources here by clicking on the button, edit issue sources, and you will be taken to uh, the same interface where uh, you can uh, maybe include your uh, your filter and uh, your project. So you can always change the issues, issue source. Maybe after two months, there is a new project that you also have to incorporate in your plan. So come here and uh, define the source. Let us also take a look at the custom field option. Right now, uh, 
if you want, you can also have your own custom fields, which we'll be uh, taking a look at later on when we uh, configure the plan to have uh, more uh, things that are more probably uh, relevant to our case in, in maybe maybe you want to display something on the bulan maybe a custom field you have the option to configure it here so we, let us not worry about it here right now we'll come come back to this uh, feature later on you, ha you have the option to also define the permissions of your uh, plan so right now you have uh, permissions to edit the plan and also to view the plan so you can actually change it here like let us say uh, you want uh, only specific uh, users uh, to just uh, make changes to your plan so you can define it here uh, at the same time you can also define who can view the plan so i think these things are really useful and uh, when you have the option to configure the permissions and you just want uh, maybe selected people to make changes to the portfolio plan you can uh, come here and uh, modify it also there is an option to enable the scenario which we will be doing we talked about uh, creating a plan and committing it to the project when you're working on your portfolio plan you have the option to of course uh, uh, add something to your plan like uh, maybe you want to add a resource or maybe you want to change some dates or maybe you are experimenting with the schedule uh, but in case you want to have two scenarios and you want to have those two scenarios that you can compare later on uh, you can always enable it here and uh, this will give you the option to enable the scenarios on your portfolio plan and you can switch between those two different plans using scenarios and you can uh, discuss the outcome of uh, scenario one with may maybe your stakeholders if you're not happy you can show them scenario two and if you're finally happy with scen scenario two you can commit those changes to your project so this is something that you can do when once you enable it here uh, the last option is the planning interface and we talked about uh, the 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 new improved planning interface that we are right now using which is uh, uh, which is quite good because we have the option to uh, use the roadmap but uh, some people still prefer the old uh, live plan uh, interface where you have the option to configure uh, skills and uh, uh, you also have some 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 other options like uh, maybe you want to view the capacity report so those things are there in the live plan where you can uh, I mean, if you want, you can come here and you can disable the new interface and you can switch back to the old inter old interface. So these are some of the options, some of the configurations that you can do with the portfolio plan. But at the same time, you can uh, go to the uh, portfolio and then click on the administration on top. So you do have the option to also uh, do some changes to your portfolio add-on or a app that is applicable across uh, your uh, portfolio different plans so the first option is of course the permission which is uh, quite straightforward so you have the option to uh, define who can do the portfolio administrator or uh, i mean who can basically make changes to your uh, portfolio plan uh, who can be the portfolio user which is of course right now defined as the jira software user and of course your jira administrator portfolio restricted users uh, maybe um, uh, you only want a certain uh, certain uh, users to uh, do changes to your portfolio plan so you can do that here portfolio viewer which is something uh, that you can configure here and these things are quite straightforward you can take a look and if you think uh, you need these uh, permissions configured you can come here and you can configure and the only thing that you need to that you need to be aware of is that these things are applicable across your portfolio so the, the second option is portfolio license, which is quite obvious. The third option is quite interesting, which is the option to configure the hierarchy. And uh, in Jira software, we have three levels natively uh, out of the box. When you install Jira software and you're using Jira scrum boards, you have Epic, you have Story and you have Subtask. But in portfolio, you can have more than three levels and uh, we'll be uh, taking a look at uh, different levels uh, later on in uh, future videos. And uh, this is the place where you can define uh, those levels and you can basically uh, select the issue type that are applicable for those uh, levels. Uh, the, the last thing that I want to discuss is the option to configure the dependencies. So in Jira, we have different, uh, different uh, type of issue links where uh, you have of course uh, the option to take a look at uh, your uh, duplicate issue links or maybe you have uh, links like related you can always create your own issue links 
uh, issue link types. But when you're working with portfolio, by default, it comes with, or it is configured with blocks, but you can have maybe one more, maybe duplicate, or maybe uh, you just want to have something like related. So this is something that you can configure. And in cases where you have dependencies where you're waiting for something, then I think the blocks one is quite uh, uh, relevant and it is suitable, but you have the option to configure your own uh, issue links. And uh, this is all I wanted to, uh, discuss in this uh, video. In the next video, we'll uh, talk about uh, the team management where uh, uh, we will uh, configure the teams where we will add uh, uh, people to the uh, to the different teams. And we'll also take a look at what all we can do with the, the team tab. You have the option to configure the teams that you can use in the plan, but uh, we need to spend some time on it to understand it properly. And uh, this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.